Hi there guys, today we'll be editing this seascape image I took at sunrise and I hope you stay with me till the end of the video. We're going to begin by reducing the highlights, increasing slightly the shadows so we get some detail here. and going to increase the whites press down the alt key on a windows pc and reduce again for the clippings so we don't get any clippings i'm going to do the same for the blacks okay it should be good going to slightly increase the contrast and I'm going to reduce the exposure not too much okay like that and next a slight texture around 11 a bit of clarity I'll try the the hay slider have to be careful with the slider not too much because you overdo it should be good around there I do not touch the vibrance and saturation instead I go down to the calibration tab and this is a very good tip for you all you have to do is increase the blue primary increase it all the way to 100 you can see the amazing amount of color you get if you want you can decrease it ever so slightly but I'm gonna leave it all the way up to 100 now to reduce the blues as it's increased too much I go down to the color mixer and reduce the blues from here should be okay around 30 and now we have a very subtle coloring introducement Okay, I'm going to, you can see up here I've clipped the blacks just a slightly. I'm going to increase the blacks just again. Okay, that should be it. Now I'm going to increase, go down to the detail tab, sharpening just a bit. 60 I always reduce the radius and increase the detail again hold the masking slider and the alt key and you only get sharpening in the white areas okay we'll soon be ready these are quick edits anyone can do for the landscape images if you want you can do a radial gradient which will introduce a veal vignette invert the vignette the mask I mean sorry and reduce the exposure should be it leave the mask and there we have our final image I've just clipped the blacks a bit okay should be okay Now I'm going to show you the before and after. 
the one on the left is the before and the one on the right is the after. You can see a great deal of difference. This is always achieved when shooting in RAW. Do not shoot your images in JPEG. I suggest just shooting in RAW if you're going to get the most out of your image. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoy it and happy editing. Watch my other videos and thank you and subscribe and hit the like button also. And I'll see you in a future video. See you guys. Thanks a lot.